John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. I'm with Eric Gales in Nashville, Tennessee at the City Winery. Yeah, man. Eric, man, I'm a huge fan. Oh, huh? man, thanks, man. My it, pleasure. Thanks yeah. for having me on the, on the show, man, yeah, yeah. On, the, on the situation. Thanks, yeah. Premier Guitar. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're a great addition to the uh, to the Rig Rundown run. Thank so, you, man. Man, let's start with this guitar. You've, you've always been a Strat guy, right? Uh -huh. Uh, or a Strat configurative yeah, sort, of, sort, right, of, sort, yeah. of, sort of guy. Uh, yeah. uh, Magneto is something that uh, I gravitated to about um, five or six years ago. And the guy, uh, Christian, uh, is the president of the company in there out of France. Oh, really? Uh, uh, and it's really it's a boutique guitar. It's, uh, uh, you know, and part of my ignorance for not knowing, like, the circumference and, oh. you know, all of that radius and all <laughs> that. I just know that it plays well to me. Yeah. And, uh, does it feel like your old strats? It or? does. It has a great feel to it. It's a single coil. I think I got Jason Luller pickups in here. Hmm. Uh, Boy, they're really spanky, man. Yeah, man. I mean, they're I, I like clear. It. Yeah, I like yeah. it like that. I like that um, accuracy there, you know what I right. mean? That, that uh, gives me that bright, you know, fendery sort of sound. Yeah. And, you know, when I step on my pedals, it goes and gives me, you know, that, that edge that I'm looking for. So Yeah, that's the yeah. great thing about your tone. Even when you're on your neck, there's a real point to it, mm -hmm. you know, but not mm -hmm. like a painful point, right. but just a Just point. right on that cusp. Right? Yeah. yeah, right, right on the sweet spot or mm -hmm. that bridge that uh -huh. Stevie kind of dig yes, into sir. it. Thing. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, great, man. So basic Strat configuration. Basic Strat configuration with my name because it's a custom Eric Gales model. Great. Um, so this is your signature model? Signature Eric Gales model is the Magneto Sonnet, um, you know, and uh, it's a three coil, one tone knob, controls every every uh, pickup on it. And, like uh, that, yeah. I like the, um, uh, it's got a hair trigger of a slight pullback on it, uh -huh. but not really much. You know, it's pretty, basically flat, but just a little bit of a, you yeah. know, just a little bit pullback. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, five springs in the back, you can't see it, but uh, I think four, sorry, two yeah. on each side, right. you know. And uh, it does the job. Man, and you were, during sound check, you were using Beating that. into it, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. It stayed right in tune. Yeah, no, no tuning issues. Yeah. So that's great. I'm a real huge fan of these, man. Magneto, they're... Yeah. I love them, man. Yeah. I love them. Very cool, very <laughs> cool guitar. And I like I like the configuration of mm -hmm. one and one. That's one and one. No guessing. Yeah, and then they got the whole gold trim job on it. And my nickname is Raw Dog, so that's on the back of oh, the... Oh, that's uh, great. On the back of the uh, neck. Yeah. A uh, guard there. You know, one of our, uh, we put this on Facebook that we're going to interview you, mm -hmm. and some uh, fans uh, wrote in, they want to know, how come you ne you always go with the right-handed flipped over instead of Man, a it just, began, it was comfortable since day one for yeah. me. You know, even before I had figured out that I was playing the quote-unquote wrong way, it yeah. was way too late, and I yeah. had already grown accustomed to, well, this is, gives me accuracy to come down here right. as a Strat doesn't, you know, yeah. with playing with, on a right-handed Strat. Right. So I just, you know, took what I was dealt and, yeah. and, dealt and worked with it, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I have had some in the past that was like left-handed body with a right-handed neck. Yeah. Those are cool, too. But, uh, you know, I just work with what I got. Yeah. Man, you know what I mean? Well, it's such a iconic, cool, uh -huh. you know, yeah. look. Yeah, that's great. So that's your number one. Number one. On the road. Yeah. And how about this guy over the here? The number two for now is my exotic that I've had for quite a while. Um, light guitar. It's light, man. But w what I have in there, uh, I have the Fishman oh. uh, situation in there that the uh, pickups are charged by like a regular uh, 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 Android phone huh. charger. And the pickups sound good. The back pickup is uh, push-pull for a little bit more gain. Yeah. And uh, they are actually based. Uh, you can you can wire. You can. They're not. They don't have uh, wiring in them. It's just a coil, a block coil. Oh, really? A totally. It's a different situation. And Fishman huh. has really come up with some innovative stuff. Huh. And, cool. And uh, I use it, and it sounds great. I have the Blade Runner uh, tremolo bar on there, which I found out from uh, my friend Eric Johnson that he suggested these. And oh, really? It can wang on it, and it won't go out of tune. Yeah. And without having the like lock and tremolo thing on there. Yeah. And the only thing I have on the back is the uh, tuners that lock that down. You know, oh, yeah. pretty much keep that there. But uh, it's yeah. fantastic guitar, man. So do you do you just kind of grab whatever depending on your mood or depend on, stay depend with that on my one? mood? I, I sometimes I'm with this all night, but yeah. if a string breaks, I got a trusty backup that I know yeah. is gonna get the job done. Uh, I have more, but I just brought these out. 
uh, for now because, you know, they're my heavyweight, you know, they take a serious beating every night, right. especially this one takes a serious beating. That one does too. Yeah, you don't and, show uh, a lot of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it just how it comes out, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, and uh, Exotic, I've had that for quite a while. Yeah. Um, um, and I want to give a major shout out to the guys over at, over at Exotic, as well as John Page Guitars, as well as Olympus Guitars, as well yeah. as St. Blues Guitars. Oh, right. Uh, Paul Reed Smith, I have uh, one or two of those, and uh, I do have a 62 Strat. Nice. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, I just, it just all depends on what I feel like going to. Yeah, yeah, well that's, that's great, man. Well these sounded in, sound check, they sounded amazing. <laughs> it's fun, man. Yeah. Sometimes sound check turns into a show. Right, right. Yeah. Well hey, let's, uh, we cover the guitars, let's talk about these pedals a little bit. Okay, I got the, uh, you know, well clearly if you look at the pedal board, uh, I saw that the camera guy had to do a little readjusting because of this <laughs> diamond encrusted Bob Bradshaw wad that I got that Jimmy Dunlap personally, happy birthday, his birthday was yesterday, uh, which was March 19th, and today's the 20th, yeah? yeah. Happy birthday, Jimmy Dunlap. Many more, man. Yeah. He's done that for me. I got quite cool. a few things on here you from Dunlap. Yeah. You can see that from outer space. Hey, man. Is, hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, the, it's the Bob Ratchard Wah. Oh, cool. I'm actually going first into the tuner, out of the tuner, into um, this, uh, into the uh, whammy pedal, okay, which, I, yeah. which I like to use. I have a, 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 a Colossus Fuzz here that's oh, made by Mojo Hand. That right over here? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Fantastic that's... tone out of that. Um, I sometimes use the e, uh, EVH, uh, the, um, the, the, the Eddie Van Halen flanger made by uh, MXR, which sure. is Dunlop product. It's part of the Dunlop um, family. I like right. the, in, uh, the envelope filter, I like that. And my Eric Gales Brute Drive, which was made by Exotic as well. Oh, cool. And uh, that's my custom uh, Brute Drive, which is more of a distortion. The, the, the Colossus Fuzz is more fun. Okay. Uh, and the Tech, uh, Tech 21 uh, Boost Delay that I use for my delay stuff, and that's pretty pretty, pretty much it. Yeah, it's not a lot of stuff, but not you're covering a, stuff. covering a lot of sonic ground. Uh -huh. Hey, do you mind giving us a taste test of, of these two so we can kind of okay. hear them a little Here bit? Here is a, that's a clean tone. Yeah. Really good tone. Right. Really good tone. And that's more of the... Very amp. Really good, nice, yeah. you know, and I have it sot away where, you know, pretty much everything is like straight up, you know yeah. what I mean? And that gives me more, the fuzz gives me more of the, you know. Good, you know, controllable tone. You know, yeah, what I mean? very amp-like. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. didn't sound none of that right. high-end sizzle like you hear uh -huh. from a pedal. And then the fuzz, and the fuzz gives me more of a. good Eric Johnson y sort of tone, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so great. It's great, man, and I sort of set that where it gives me, you know, it's nice and rich, man, that milky tone, man, yeah. you know what I mean? But you know, you never get all that dirty, like crazy right, dirty, right, it's like right. a very, I don't know, it's a great. Try to keep it as controlled as possible, yeah. but you know, nice, thick, and rich, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you never lose the notes. Right. Yeah, man, yeah. that's great. And the envelope, yeah, yeah, let's it's hear just that. regular. <laughs> Really nice, you know, that yeah. that, 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 that that scope brings it back in, you know yeah. what I mean? And the harder you the harder you play, right. it, it reacts to it. You know what I mean? And the delay, I always keep it on. It's quarter note delays, pretty much. You can tap the tempo in. So you that. tap man and keep it always at a quarter. Always at a quarter yeah. note. That's my slip. Yeah. It's a really warm tone, man. Oh, that's really killer, warm. man. Yeah. Yeah. It's and then, and then you, yeah. oh, I was going to say, it's interesting you use a bass envelope. The, um, I like it better. Just, just like it better, man. They beat him and yeah. felt that was. Yeah, I like it better. Yeah. yeah, it sounds killer, man. And this is like, really gives me like, um, 
Crazy. Yeah, that flips cool. a lot of people out when they hear that, you know. So <laughs> yeah. you know, it's just all in how you use it. Right. I don't actually have the um, the flanger hooked up right now. Yeah. But I have it on there because it uses a separate um, separate output thing. But I, I I use it and I set it to like a fast tremolo, so somewhere like a tremolo pedal. Yeah. But then someone would ask, why don't I just use a tremolo pedal? Uh, it just you know because sometimes I want a flange sound, so yeah. just to go back and forth, I just hit the speed button and. Right. And run it. Well, that's it. You get so little room on a pedal board, you got to make do. everything count. It does. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. do. You do. Hey, you also, you were talking about your microphone, too. I do. I have these new mics that I'm endorsed by. It's called Lewitt Mics. And uh, they're very, 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 very accurate. They're uh, very, this is like the version of a, a 58. Yeah. Uh, uh, but it has, uh, you know, I can, you know, you can look them up. It's Lewitt, L-E-W-I-T-T. Mics and um, you know it's uh, don't need phantom power, but it's something about down here. It it is it, somewhere in the um, in the in the sure. And I'm not discrediting sure because sure. I've used them for years. Standard but of the more industry. of the yeah. sound comes from up here on a sure, but this comes all the way through. Huh. On this and they sound great. I mean that's what you were hearing out there. Yeah, it sounds great. And you get a you get kind of a dark warm voice, so that really yeah. cut. It resonates you know? and, and yeah. enunciates really good. So thanks yeah. to the guys over at uh, Lewitt. Cool. And, uh, you and you're using those on your uh, on your on the, cab uh, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got actually got a combination over there. Cool. With the, uh, that's on the uh, that's on the uh, on, on one of the cabs as well. So yeah. And that's like the uh, equivalent to a 57. You know what I mean? Cool. Uh, so while we're talking about that, what? It, tell me about that amp and those cabs. What I have going on is the signature Eric Gales two mo two rock model. And uh, Bill Kennard and, and Joe and Mac over at Two Rock, they made those for me about seven years ago. Wow. And I have two of them. And uh, this one was the first prototype. My other one has actually the initials EG on it. So it is an Air Gales model. They're like made to order. Cool. They're, they're pretty, uh, they're, they're kind of pricey, but it works for me. Yeah. And uh, the cabinets are Pure 64, which is another amp company, a boutique amp company mm. that I use. I just, it all depends on how I'm feeling and what I choose to bring sure. out. But uh, that's what I'm using and I'm only using the clean channel. Yeah, you keep it real clean. Keep platform. it real clean. You know, I like a good, punchy, loud, clean. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. I like to, you know, and, I, and it's 100 watts, so I like a really, I like high volume. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I also want to mention that I have a new app deal that's about to happen. Oh, cool. Uh, DV Mark Amps, as, as a matter of oh, fact. Oh, cool. Uh, which is the guitar side of um, Mark Bass. Oh, okay, cool. And they're making the Eric Gales Raw Dog 100 Watt seriously don't make no sense. So I got a feeling that I will be seeing you guys again <laughs> once that hits the market because it's coming out in about a month or so. Great. And, and also they're making the, a bass amp. For me because i play bass speaking of the new record the new record is called middle of the road that comes out friday cool. the 24th oh, of march congratulations Great. and uh i play bass i'm doing bass on the record so oh, really? mark bass marco over mark bass said wow man let's capitalize the whole market you know what i yeah. mean so there's one that i'm doing on there that's actually specifically featuring bass so i am going to start incorporating a segment in my show where i play bass with my bassist cody wright oh, cool. during the show oh, cool. so uh, that's coming out. It's called DV Mark, DV Mark Amps, uh, the raw dog, that's going to be that. And the bass amp is going to be called Boom because on, on Facebook, every time I say something, I say hashtag Boom behind it, <laughs> like a dropping of a mic or sure, something. Sure, right, right. So it's going to be called Boom. That's great. So lots of stuff are coming out. So how did you, you tr did you track with bass and drums and then come back and do guitar or track I tracked guitar? With, I, tracked with, uh, I tracked with bass and drums, yeah. Yeah, yeah bass and drums uh, to get the drums right and then came over and redid the bass. And then uh, did guitar and vocals, and wow. the wife sang background vocals. And, oh, that's uh, great. It was, it, bro, it was family a, affair. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's and great. Uh, the record is doing great. It came out overseas already, and oh, it's, cool. it's already number one in the UK and Australia. Well, fabulous. Speaking of you being a multi instrumentalist, I did a, um, did a gig a little while ago with a guy named Myron Howell Myron, from, yeah. Yeah, from yeah. your hometown, Memphis. Right. And he was saying there was like a jazz competition, really competitive really high competitive. school. It was. And Myron's a great drummer, and he was saying that 
that you were one of the other drummers and you had like won uh-huh. this, you know, jazz We was battling, man. We was yeah. battling. We was battling tough. And, and uh, you know, Byron's chorus was disappointed. And then he's <laughs> like, they, they said, God, and then I found out he's not even a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> he's a guitar player. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a true story, man. Myron is a fantastic drummer. Uh, yeah. We were in high school doing the uh, all west jazz and you know i didn't want people to know i was a guitar player at the time you know <laughs> so it was uh it was that kind of situation but uh to see you know uh people with their craft you know flourish out and do great things uh yeah. is, a, is an amazing is an, is, a, is an amazing thing to see yeah and uh just to uh be around and you know uh, a little bit of information that i want to give people out there that may know my story or may not know my story but uh Right now, uh, I think about four days ago, I celebrated eight months clean and sober. Oh, man. So for me, uh, I got a whole new leash on life. Things are going great. The new record's out. uh, Well, it's coming out Friday. Uh, It's doing well. We were on our way into Nashville today, and I heard my own song on Bluesville. I heard Boogeyman. That's the track with Gary Clark on it. I have Lauryn Hill on the new record. I have Kingfish Ingram, the young cat out of Mississippi. I uh, wrote with my brother Eugene Gales that was originally in Eric Gales band. Right. I co-wrote with uh, Rafael Sadiq on it and uh, co-wrote with Lance Lopez and you know and Fabrizio Grassi he produced the record. Shout out to everybody. Aaron Haggerty played drums on it. Dylan Wiggins played keys and uh, it's the best thing that I got going on man. It's a lot of a lot of attention being drawn to this record right now and I'm very excited four days away from the record coming out in the States. Fabulous state, so. man. Well congratulations. You deserve it. Wildly talented guy. Happy Thank you, for man. you. Thank you man. Okay man. Well Beautiful. Beautiful. all the best. Till next time. Till next time man. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.